Today on Sledhead 24-7, we preview the Jackson Hole Hill Climbs. It's a mile-high party. Rob Kincaid and David McClure received the sled build of a lifetime at Speedworks. Mac, Fish, and the crew ride, rate, and review the latest utility and touring classes of snowmobiles. Sledhead 24-7 starts now. We've got the biggest, baddest snowmobiles money can buy from the OEMs, and we have talent fish. I'm Amber Holt with Backcountry Basics, and you're watching Sledhead 24-7. Welcome to another episode of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin, along with my co-host, former racer Paul Mack, and tech expert Jeff Fisher, and we're reporting from Heinen's Motorsports in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Coming up first, guys, we're gonna take a look at some sleds built to go hundreds of miles. No, that's right, Carly. These things are built to go the distance with all the features that you could ever need. No, it isn't just going the distance. It's gotta be enjoyable. It's gotta be a nice, fun ride, and these things are truly pure pleasure. These are the Cadillac of sleds with some pretty awesome features. Let's take a look. This is it, touring, where it's snowshoot. We get, as I like to call them, the land yachts. These babies have everything. We got some heated seats, turbochargers, air suspensions. We got a little bit of everything here. You know, we're having a great time out riding these touring sleds. We're just putting on some miles, enjoying the scenery, and we got a bunch of very nice snowmobiles to ride. All the sleds we rode today, you know what? They all had great features. We had four strokes, we had turbos, we had new innovative suspensions, and we have new innovative motors and engine packages. And touring, you know, you're not hot rodding, you're not ditch banging, it's, it's just the opposite. I want it quiet. All I want to hear is just nature. Getting right into the turbo end of it, the Arctic Cat. That's always been one of my favorite, just because of power. May not be for everybody, I like it because it's very positive, it's solid, turns, and it goes. That thing is the ultimate land yacht. That's the Bugatti of snowmobiles. Um, the one thing I liked about the Articat TZ1 Turbo was the power. Definitely noticed that way more than any other of the touring sleds. Seriously lead with performance. The thing just sets you back in the seat, half throttle and, and on through. It's just, it's just pulling like crazy. Uh, it, it just makes you kind of laugh. You just don't expect to see that out of a two-up machine. Looking at the new Polaris here, there's five new Indies. We have some new entry-level models this year. This is really great. The Polaris Adventure, it's got a 144 track, Polaris Indy LXT. And as you can see, it's, it's more of a utility base. It's a 550 fan, so it's very light, very agile, great on fuel. It's got lock and ride rear, which is great on these. The feature is so easy to remove the back seat. You can remove back here the cargo bags. You got pro ride front ends. What does it mean? It means great handling. It means it goes over the bumps. You go into a corner, it's just shooting point. I mean, the thing really handles well for an entry level snowmobile. Remember, there's five new Indy models. These fit the bill. I uh, rode the Yamaha Venture GT today, and uh, I have actually ridden this machine before in the past, and uh, it was similar to, to what I remember. It, it had good power, it was smooth, uh, windshield offered really good protection. Uh, I thought the track was maybe a little noisier than some of the other machines out there, but uh, overall it was, it, was, it was a good machine. The Yamaha Venture GT has been our touring sled of the year in the past, and, and for a very good reason. It's a great snowmobile, it's very comfortable. Power steering, big windshield, the three-cylinder power, very good, very reliable, just a nice, good, all-around sled. I noticed on that, the power steering, it was easy to handle down the trail. So if I got to pick a touring sled of the year, I have to go with the Skidoo Grand Touring 900 Ace. It's innovative, it's fun to ride, easy to ride, and by all means, it is quiet. You know, I really like what Skidoo is doing with the touring class and their entire product line. They keep raising the bar and doing things that the other OEMs are not doing, and that's called innovation in the touring class. Uh, hands down, just wanted for me. It did everything I thought a two-up sled should do. So I'm not a big touring sled rider, but if I had to choose one, it would be the Skidoo Grand Touring Ace 900. One thing new in the Grand Touring this year is the R-Motion, and that makes it ride so nice. Along with the quiet lug track, all you can hear is the ice banging off the skis going down the trail. 
When Sledhead 24-7 returns, Speedworks transforms two Arctic cats into the sickest backcountry sleds ever for Rob Kincaid and David McClure. We highlight some utility sleds from every manufacturer. And how does Jeff Fisher make it to the top of Jackson Hole? We'll have a preview. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by FXR, world-class outerwear, Polaris, Terrain Domination, CNA Pro Skis, Ride Like a Pro, Fox, Redefining Ride Dynamics, Skidoo Snowmobiles, and by Spy Optics. It's never easy being the favorite. The one others look to beat. And when expectations are at their highest, how will you respond? AMS Oil, the first in synthetics. I will take you on a white knuckle ride down memory lane. I will show you speed worthy of your courage. I will make you the alpha of the pack. Arcticat, share our passion. A man will ask a lot of his truck. Can it tow that? Haul this? Make it all the way over the top of that? Well, isn't it nice to know that the answer will always be, hell yes. This is the groundbreaking Ram Heavy Duty with 30,000 pounds of towing and 850 pound feet of torque. The 2014 Ski-Doo Renegade featuring the R-Motion suspension. Easily adjustable, highly flexible, because backs, hips, and knees are not. The R-Motion for superior comfort and control on and off trail. It's technology you'll only find on Ski-Doo sleds. The 2014 Ski-Doo Renegade. Find it here. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. Time now to head over to Speedworks where the build of a lifetime is going on for some up and coming names in the snowmobiling industry. Oh yeah, and those names are Dave McClure and Rob Kincaid. Now I've had a chance to ride with those guys in the past and I can just imagine what they're gonna do to those snowmobiles. What they're gonna put those snowmobiles through is beyond belief. Articat and Speedworks are so lucky to have them on their team. They're a true testament to time and riding ability. These sleds are going to be epic. Now let's take a look at what's going on over at Speedworks, the home of horsepower for these two epic sled builds. In the years past, Speedworks and Sled F 24-7 have done a sled build. This year we took it to a whole nother level. We took two of the best backcountry riders in the snowmobile industry as a whole and uh, got their sleds here and we're building them and those two guys happen to be Rob Kincaid and Dave McClure. My name is Rob Kincaid and I come from Teton Valley, Idaho and it snows about eight months of the year. My name is Dave McClure. I'm a sponsored Arctic Cat rider. Speedworks has been helping me pretty much with Arctic Cat and the Arctic Cat race team ever since I've been involved with snowmobile racing. Right now it's kind of like like a kid on December 1st wait, getting excited for Christmas. So the cool thing about these builds, we wanted to keep them looking, you know, like stock Arctic Cats, but there is some really cool parts to them. We're gonna let people vote and see what sled they like better, you know, hold a little competition between the two on our social sites. So this year I'm super excited to be on a boosted sled. Rob and Dave's personalities are, are none like I've ever seen before. Both competitive as hell are super fun to watch. There's never a day that we, we don't have fun. We're always laughing. We're always giving each other a hard time. Sometimes he'll, he'll go up and pull a sick line that I had no idea that you know he was going to be able to pull it off. A lot of times I'm giving Dave crap all day and telling him, why are you stuck here? You, 
you're such an idiot, and then all of a sudden I'm stuck. Yeah, we definitely love backing Rob and Dave. I mean, these guys are at the forefront of riding. Well, today we're actually gonna be installing some of these new, trickest, latest, and greatest parts out on the industry. We got custom carbon belly pans, side panels, the hood, clutch covers, things like that. On the Speedworks side of things, we're incorporating our brand new supercharger kit. It's gonna incorporate our L2 tunnel dump exhaust system, the Pro Charger head unit, our new intercooler, fuel controller. This kit comes complete with everything ready to do the installation and to get the sled up and running. Fox Shocks is working with us on this build as well. We got the new Float 3 Evol with Kashima coat. We got seven tooth uh, extrovert drivers from Avid Products, a rear axle kit and a rear wheel kit, uh, SLP Powder Pro skis. Then we got this, the new Camelplast three inch lug height track. It's advanced lug geometry and support columns allow it to cup and flex the snow, which provides unmatched flotation. Now that we got them upgraded to our factory series Float 3 Evol R's, we're gonna start on the skid shocks here and get those upgraded as well. I had to stand back. Power tools started coming out and wrenches were flying everywhere. They really wanted to install the Fox shocks themselves, so that's great, you know? We'll have at her and we'll get it done. We're just doing the final preparation before we throw the skid in on the three inch track. We're just about kind of wrapping the project up. I'm getting really excited. It's going to start taking shape and uh, see what she's going to look like. These sleds are complete, ready to go. Appreciate everybody's effort and uh, we'll see you guys in the snow. Sleds turned out awesome. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm I think these sleds are gonna rip. I think that they're gonna just tear up all sorts of terrain. Right now, I can't even imagine that first day that we're gonna take them out of the trailer and, and go for a ride. We ride every day. We have snow where we live and we're riding every day putting these sleds through the test. Still ahead, we define the laws of gravity at the Jackson Hole Hill Climbs. And what's a utility snowmobile? We'll find out when we return. Made in the USA and shipped worldwide, Arctic Effects has been leading the way in snowmobile graphics since 2004. Brand new to Arctic Effects is the online custom wrap selection app. Arctic Effects lets you custom design your sled with a graphic look for you. Go online, select your sled, pick the colors, pick the wrap styles and layers, see what your sled looks like online. Order and it will be delivered to your door. Hey Sledders, welcome back to Sledhead 24-7 and of course joining me my co-host Paul Mack. Mack, I think it's time we take a look at some utility sleds. Yeah, this class has the get her done mentality. These snowmobiles can do anything that you need them, whether it's pulling an ice house at a resort, at a ski hill, these are up to the task. Yeah, with wider tracks, skis to stay afloat and bigger towing capacity, it is sure to get the job done. Let's take a look. 
Now we're testing the utility segment, and we get a lot of people in the past saying, why are you testing utility? It really doesn't do much other than haul ice houses or haul a little bit of weight. And that's an old wife's tail. We're gonna put that tail to shame. Let me tell you, we came up with another great arsenal of stuff. We've got the Viking RS Professional from Yamaha. We've got the Polaris 600 Wide Track. We've got a bunch of great stuff. Fish. Well, yeah, don't forget about Articat Bearcat GS and Skidoo 600 E-Tech Expedition. You're gonna see, we took these things all over. They aren't just for going down the trail, hauling stuff around. Chelsea had me boondocking back there. What did you think of that, Chelsea? Well, it was awesome. It's great on the trail, and we were out doing some pow turns even. It's very useful. Tell you what, everything's big. The seat, the windshield, the fun factor. You can just like drive over stuff, drive around stuff. It's, they're a blast. So if you're looking for a good utility sled, we got four very nice choices here. Yamaha RS Viking Professional. Great snowmobile. In the past, we voted it sled of the year. It's got gullwing arms. It gives it more clearance. It's got the three-cylinder Yamaha power plant four-stroke that everyone knows reliability is key. What I really like about that machine is it has great ground clearance. It floats through the snow real nice. That three-cylinder four-stroke power is fantastic. The thing rips. For me, it was nice because it had the new A-arms, so it was good for clearance. Had a nice, big, comfy seat. Um, wasn't too bad off the trail compared to others. It, you know, kind of tipped into tree wells, but it still got the job done. Yamaha RS Viking. I really liked the seat on that sled. I thought it was super comfortable. Um, the only thing I didn't like about that machine was the front end wanted to dive and I, I, I was really having to kind of fight the machine in the, in the off-trail situation. But on-trail, the machine was awesome. It was easy to ride and it felt powerful. Player 600 IQ Wide Track. Probably the fastest of the utility sleds we tested. The thing really goes. It floats real good, it handles nice in the deep powder. Uh, the flotation, like the others, was great. For an all-around utility sled, it's a really nice machine. What I liked about this machine was the seating position. My legs were a little bit more forward. When I was riding on it, the handlebars were perfect. I felt really comfortable on the machine. Uh, all I had to do was adjust my weight, left or right, whether I was on trail or off trail, and it just did what I needed it to do. So it was a good machine. That thing was a rip to ride. I mean, we were racing right on the trails on the way in, on the way back. It's fast. You're not buying it for speed, but let me tell you, you got to get to where you're going before you're towing or you're hauling. It does it well. ski -Doo Expedition with a 600 E-Tech. That thing is really nice. Tons of storage in the back. I really love that ski -Doo. Skidoo's Expedition with the 600 E-Tech, that is actually a very fun snowmobile. I really like the engine in that machine. I was surprised how much power it made for a 600. I mean, the thing ripped. Down the trail, it was fun to ride. The windshield was big, offered a lot of protection. And off trail, it was balanced, it was easy to ride. I enjoyed it. For comfort, I would definitely choose the Skidoo, just my personal preference, because I do like the rider forward positioning and on and off trail, it handled well. Probably my favorite out of all the sleds, off trail. My favorite snowmobile in the utility class is hands down, Articat Bearcat GS. Now the GS is for groomer special, which is one of my favorites. I love to go out and groom. The Bearcat for me handled the best on trail. Felt like it held the corners, it was stable. Um, you weren't really shifting your weight around a whole lot utility purposes, you want to do work with it, and that's what it's built for. This thing is a monster. I mean, it felt bigger than the other sleds, but it was so easy to ride. And then off trail, I could do whatever I needed to do. I felt like that sled, for me, was my favorite in this class. So as far as in the utility class, the Articat Bearcat GS is my choice. I give them thumbs up. That thing is fantastic. If someone's looking for a utility machine, to truly, truly use it for utility, that is the one that we When Sledhead 24-7 returns, we preview the World Championship Hill Climb in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Stay tuned.
performance, reliability. For nearly 20 years, Speedworks has manufactured world-class high-performance products. Products made right here in the USA, delivering dominating results and reliability. If you're looking for the best performance for your ATV, UTV, snowmobile, or race car, look no further than Speedworks. Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. Western Canadian customers visit Echo Cycle. Take home all the excitement with Traxxas, the fastest name in radio control. Feel the power. Experience the speed. Waterproof electronics. Only Traxxas makes high performance radio control so easy, fast, and fun. Visit Traxxas.com to find a retailer near you. Traxxas, the fastest name in radio control. Sledhead 24 7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Arctic Cat, share our passion. Ram, guts, glory, Ram. Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. GoPro, be a hero. And by Stud Boy, traction with an attitude. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin, along with my co-host and snowmobile expert, Jeff Fisher. I know you've done some racing in the past, but have you ever raced hill climb? You know, that is one form of racing I have not done, but I tell you what, snowmobile hill climb is very intense. You know, you got to give these racers some credit. Speeding up a mountain face as fast as you can go, dodging obstacles, nasty ruts, and rocks, just to see who can get to the top in the fastest time. That sounds like a challenge to me, Fish. Oh, it is. And you got to remember, this started back in 1975 with a few local boys trying to high mark, which is see who could get the farthest up the hill on their snowmobile. Now they're going right over the top. And I tell you what, this is a must-see in-person event because this has turned into the World Championship Hill Climb. I agree. Off to Jackson Hole we go. Hey, Jeff Fisher with Sledhead 24-7. We're in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Jackson Hole, baby! For the World Championship Hill Climbs. This place is trick. Jackson Hole is the biggest race of the season and uh, it's the one we think about and train and practice for. You know, it's other races are just leading up to Jackson. And, uh, yeah, it's the world championship. You can't say anything more about it. Basically, it's a timed event from the bottom of the mountain to the top, and it's all based on time. And in this particular case, we're running on Snow King Mountain, one of the steepest ski runs in North America. If you've never been here to Jackson Hole, it's an awesome riot. You need to see it. It's crazy, man. It's a fun hill. It takes a lot of, a lot of practice to get here, and it's a, it's a riot, man. It is fun. It's like taking a chairlift ride to the top of Jackson Hole. Snow King Mountain is fabulous. Get up here, the view is cool. Now we're gonna see some true racing action. Okay, as a racer, if you're lucky enough and skillful enough to make it all the way up, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna get right to the top, and that's quite a view, and that's quite an accomplishment you just did. The hill is always changing. You, you, you got, it keeps you on your toes all the time. Now it's all trenched out and rutted out and there's ruts everywhere and rocks and stumps and dirt and ice. Very methodical and challenging. There's cross and it's nasty up there. It's like riding up a cheese grater. Anytime you make it over, you get a time, even a fast time, it's it's a really big accomplishment for you personally and then, you know, for your team. Phenomenal, these guys are nuts, they're crazy. You look at them, you think, oh my God, they can't make it, and they do it. It's absolutely nuts. You think I'm nuts? They're really nuts. And I'm from Minnesota, and my name's Bear. Ah! 
Tony just got done running over there to save that sled from sheer destruction. What was that like? Dude, it's, it's, you just turn your head off. You just jump after the sled, just go for it. That was a buddy of mine, Aaron Bielkeman. He's a good friend, so I, I, you know, you gotta help your friends out. They put a lot of time and money into these sleds, so let's catch them. That's right, you hate to see them roll and go self-destruction. It's been just absolutely fantastic. I'd like to thank the uh, Snow Devils for putting on a Class A show. This is the epic part of the whole deal of going to the top, is coming back down. That is definitely one event to put on your bucket list. Okay guys, what have you gotten yourselves into now? Well, our FXR gear came in and Macker and I are like kids at Christmas time, opening up all this cool gear. There is so much sick new gear that FXR has out this year. You gotta get over to fxrracing.com and check it out. I cannot wait to go out riding in this new gear. You boys and your gear. Well, we're almost out of time. We wanna say a special thank you to Heinen's Motorsports, your number one volume dealer, and to all of our sponsors. I'm Carly Applin, your host, along with my co-hosts, Paul Mack and Jeff Fisher. Make sure to check us out online at sledhead24-7.com and like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Next week on Sledhead 24-7, go one-on-one -on -one with Ross Martin as he preps for the upcoming ISOC season. The crew at FXR Racing shows us what's new this season, and we evaluate a middleweight class of snowmobiles. All that and more next week on Sledhead 24-7. Make sure to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel for the latest episodes, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and of course check out sledhead24-7.com for up-to-date info and who knows, you may just end up riding with us this season.